told you my own batteries are pretty, pretty advanced. Um, there has been uh, intensive, I would say, not as much as for lithium ion, but intensive research on uh, sodium ion batteries. Uh, um, there are some already startup companies in Europe, in US and uh, China, and also a large battery company, CATL, recently announced that uh, they will go on production actually in 2023. And this has stimulated, I would say, uh, uh, attention worldwide. So last week, for example, I had chat with uh, members of uh, the German uh, minister, Ministry for, for Research, BMBF, and uh, they are very much interested. I also had a meeting with uh, uh, the European Commission and they are very extremely interested now in sodium ion batteries. In my opinion, sodium ion batteries will not replace lithium ion batteries, but they are, they are complementary. So they can play uh, a role, an important role in all those applications which are not extremely demanding. Okay, so for uh, top uh, quality electric vehicles, lithium ion batteries will, uh, will remain the, the uh, best option for the next maybe 10, 15 years and maybe they will be replaced by lithium metal if solid state lithium metal batteries will uh, come up. Mm -hmm. But sodium ion batteries can take the, uh, a big role in uh, stationary storage as well as in light duty vehicles and, and similar applications. So mm -hmm. less demanding applications can be definitely be covered with sodium ion batteries. Well, the problem is that uh, sodium is heavier than lithium, so this uh, automatically means um, uh, you need more weight. And also the kinetics are not uh, as, uh, as good, that means the performance in terms of rate are not that good. On the other hand, they have uh, some uh, major advantages, which uh, um, will most likely uh, lead to the commercialization of sodium ion batteries as soon as the cost of lithium ion batteries will increase again. Because in the last 10 years we have seen dropping costs for lithium ion batteries, but the general opinion is that they have reached almost the minimum and from now on they will start increasing cost again. And then we need an alternative technology to, to support, uh, let's say, the, the less demanding applications. Actually, for sodium ion batteries, you don't need to make sodium metal. What you need is uh, either sodium carbonate or sodium hydroxide, which can be introduced into the, uh, into the uh, synthesis of the positive and negative electrodes. Mm -hmm. You need the metal only if you want to develop so, uh, sodium metal batteries, uh, as it is for lithium metal batteries. Mm -hmm. okay. From what they disclosed, which is, uh, uh, I mean, this was more, more a commercial uh, presentation than a technical presentation, but it looks like that the negative electrode is made of our carbon and the positive electrode is actually made of a kind of uh, uh, organic compound, um, more or less known. Um, and, and, and this is what was disclosed mostly. Mm -hmm. It, it will be the price, but not the price of sodium ion, but rather the price, the cost of lithium ion batteries. Okay, when, when lithium ion batteries will increase again in cost, then sodium ion batteries will become competitive from the cost point of view, which is not uh, true now, right now. Okay, um, I mean, in general, sodium ion batteries are presented as cheaper and uh, more environmentally friendly than lithium ion. For the more environmentally friendly, I agree. I mean, the, everybody agrees because there is no need of using copper at the negative electrode. For the negative electrode active material, we can use bio waste rather than graphite, which can either be mined or made by uh, synthetic graphite is made by burning uh, oil products. Um, but regarding the cost, uh, 
being uh, the sodium ion materials less performing than the lithium ion materials, we need more materials in general. And this is actually uh, leading the present co the cost of sodium ion batteries above that of lithium ion batteries now. But when the lithium ion batteries will go up in price, then sodium ion will find their position in the market. From the safety point of view, there is a great advantage of sodium ion batteries. And the advantage is that they can be fully discharged, down to 0% state of charge, which for shipment is extremely important. Right now, lithium-ion batteries cannot, discharge, cannot be discharged less than uh, one-third of the state of charge because below this limit, they become dangerous. Okay? But shipping uh, charged batteries, lithium-ion batteries, which have a, a, a very high energy content, it's very risky. Mm -hmm. And in fact, in the past, there have been some accidents occurring with the ship, uh, associated with the shipping of lithium-ion batteries. And this is also the reason why lithium-ion batteries will be produced worldwide, everywhere, because it's too risky to ship them, okay? Mm -hmm. Sodium-ion batteries will not have this problem, uh, because uh, this is bound to the fact that uh, aluminum rather than copper is used as the current collector for the negative electrode. It's a little bit complicated to explain why, but this is the reason, and then, uh, and then um, uh, this makes shipment much easier. For operation, during operation, there is, right now, with the present chemistry, there is not much of a difference because still we have uh, high energetic electrodes and we have a, a flammable uh, electrolyte in the middle. So, danger of fire is still occurring during operation. Yeah, this is for some specific materials uh, and also electrolytes, they might operate better at lower temperature than lithium-ion batteries. So mm -hmm. this could be an, another advantage. I think that those that have lithium-ion batteries will take keep <laughs> their lithium-ion batteries for longer than five years. Sorry. They are expected to work at least 10 years or so, but for the new, uh, let's say, home storage, uh, um, um, sodium ion batteries can, can definitely uh, also play a role. Again, as soon as the lithium ion batteries will increase in cost, sodium ion batteries will be more competitive. And from the cost point of view, and since, especially for stationary storage, a little bit more volume doesn't really matter, or more weight doesn't really matter, because you just put the battery somewhere, uh, this will be, I, I believe, the first market in which sodium ion battery will uh, uh, play a role. Yeah, this is the first issue you think about. Right now, uh, nobody wants to recycle lithium iron, uh, lithium -ion batteries with lithium iron phosphate as cathode, okay? There is no interest. But the same was true for lead uh, 100 years ago. Nobody was considering to recycle lead. Lead was very cheap. Mm -hmm. However, when the market goes, grows so much that you are almost exhausting the available resources, then the recycling will start. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it, it will be just done. It, it, it's something that is natural. Mm -hmm. okay. And the same, uh, I mean, uh, uh, as it applies to lithium iron phosphate, it will also uh, apply to sodium ion batteries. Mm -hmm. Recycling will definitely be done. We, we are exploring, within a German project, we are exploring the, the realization of sodium metal batteries with uh, what is called uh, metal-free sodium, sodium metal batteries, which is, seems to be a nonsense, but the point is that actually when you make the cell, there is no sodium metal. Sodium metal is only produced during the first charge. And this could be of interest. It is actually easier than make the equivalent with lithium. Okay, this we have already pretty good results. And then there is a completely different uh, field, let's say, of sodium ion batteries, and this is what we, I call sodium seawater batteries. This is an, a, a new technology which has been mostly uh, uh, pushed in Korea, I have to say, and, and we collaborate with this Korean group since uh, many years. 
Um, and there the deal is actually to extract sodium out of seawater, sodium metal out of seawater and, and, and store energy as sodium metal. Mm -hmm. Sodium metal is a very reactive metal, so it can, uh, we can store quite a lot of energy. Uh, volumetrically, it's about four to five times the amount of uh, energy you can store in hydrogen, mm -hmm. in liquefied or high uh, or compressed hydrogen to 700 bars. So from the volumetric point of view, it's, it's definitely interesting for the long term. I mean, by long term, I mean seasonal annual uh, storage. Mm -hmm. The principle is simple. You just need an electrochemical cell in which the positive electrode is uh, seawater and, and the negative electrode is uh, uh, is uh, actually uh, a place where the reduction of sodium ions to sodium metal mm -hmm. occur and then the sodium can be stored and reused in the next season when, like now, there is no outside and we need energy to warm up. So far we applied both at the German uh, agencies and also the European agencies, funding agencies, and we did not get funded. Surprisingly, the, the, the first uh, project funded on, on sodium seawater battery has been in Italy a couple of months ago. Uh, it's another, there is another group at the University of Perugia collaborating with us since uh, a few years and now they applied for funding in Italy and they actually received it. So uh, they will uh, scale up the cell from our 1.52 square centimeter to about uh, um, 30 square centimeters, so a factor of 10, and, and uh, to see if uh, it, it, this scale up is possible mm -hmm. if, and in Europe also, not only in Korea. So, what we need to primary batteries uh, are practically banned by the European mm -hmm. Union. Okay, but if you design the battery in a way that the discharge product can be used for the uh, production of the charged product, so you make a kind of clean cycle mm -hmm. in which you don't generate any waste, you use renewable energies to produce the charged material, and then you discharge it in a primary battery, then this is uh, not banned. Actually, this is most likely what we need for the really huge uh, stationary storage. Mm -hmm. Most of the toxic metals which are used in lithium-ion battery are not needed in sodium-ion battery. This is actually another great advantage. I mean, there is no need of cobalt. There are many uh, positive electrical materials which do not even contain nickel. Mm -hmm. So uh, toxicity related to the metals used is much, can be much lower. Still, there is the toxicity associated to the electrolyte. Because right now, the electrolyte working, making a sodium ion battery to operate, well operate, it's very similar to the uh, electrolyte used for lithium ion batteries. And they both uh, uh, carry, let's say, some toxicity, toxicity problems. Some organic solvents are toxic anyway, but uh, the, the problem is also uh, the ACS, especially the salt. Okay, right now, both in lithium and in sodium ion batteries, we use uh, the PF6 uh, minus an ion uh, with lithium, I like PF6 or uh, sodium PF6. And the PF6 is, uh, is uh, um, uh, easily uh, um, react with water, forming HF, and HF is, is definitely very toxic okay. and mm -hmm. very dangerous. So. Uh, this is still the preferred anion also used for sodium ion batteries. Mm -hmm. So there is um, uh, also us, we are working on trying to replace the PF6 anions, but so far with the best performance uh, are still coming from this uh, uh, anion mm -hmm. in the salt. Okay.